We recognize uh, Congressman Keller. You are now recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I would like to thank the Postmaster General DeJoy for being here today. On July 29, 2020, the USPS General Counsel sent a follow-up letter from May to 46 states, including Pennsylvania, expressing concern that the state's deadlines for requesting and casting ballots by mail do not fit with the Postal Service's delivery standards. Uh, Mr. DeJoy, can you confirm that these letters and outreach to state election offices is something USPS has done in the past under previous Postmasters General? Yes, it, it, this, has been, this, this has been done in the past. I, I looked at uh, a letter uh, a, a couple, about a week ago that was sent out you know, before the 16 election also. Uh, but we, we have intensified the effort to work with the election boards and to communicate with the election boards uh, to help them gain more knowledge on what our process is. It's really been amazing to me in this experience how many people don't, in high places, don't really understand uh, what a post, you know, well, how we use a postmark. Well, I, I think, I, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Uh, also, um, the Democrats have been making a lot of noise about uh, these letters uh, your general counsel sent to state election boards. I'd like to clear this up. In the letters to the states, does the USPS say that they will not deliver ballots this November? No. Sir. Uh, do they say that, do the letters uh, state that the USPS will not or cannot process ballots this November? No, sir, it doesn't. Do they say that the voters should not vote by, vote by mail? No, sir, it doesn't. Okay. Specifically, the letter recommends that votes or voters mail, uh, people voting by mail should complete their ballots no later than, or complete and submit their ballots no later than October 27th to comply with Pennsylvania, or to comply. Pennsylvania would need to change current law, which allows voters to request a ballot as late as Tuesday, October 27th. To ensure that the USPS can deliver completed ballots in time to be counted by election day on Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, by 8 p.m., as is required under Pennsylvania law, do you agree that Pennsylvania should move the application deadline for mail and absentee ballots back for example, on or around October 19th to request the ballot in order to ensure voters can receive their ballots uh, in time and complete them and return them no later than Tuesday, October 27th, as recommended by the Postal Service or the Postal Service's General Counsel. Um, this, I, I didn't catch all of the details. Well, on well it. basically, it, it would be best if it would be best if the if the state elect, election boards follow the recommendations of our General Counsel. Uh, uh, to uh, ensure that every ballot, uh, uh, we're still going to do everything that we need to do, but I don't know why we would want to put this in conflict. It's a very important process in the, the democracy, and I don't know why we should have take any chance other than have a properly integrated system between the election boards and the Postal Service. And that's all the general counsel and the team that supports them is trying to do, make people aware. Uh, why would we want to put more risk in the system than is necessary. Well, well, Pennsylvania law states that the, you know, the ballots are to re be received by November 3rd by 8 p.m. Anybody that's reasonable, I mean, I'm, I'm 55 years old, and I've used the Postal Service for the past 37 years to deliver my mail, to pay my bills, to do everything. And I don't wait till the day the, the bill is due to mail the check. I mail it in enough time, knowing that it's only reasonable that I have to walk to the, to the mailbox, I have to put it in the mailbox, somebody has to come collect it, it has to be put in a car or on a plane and taken to another place to be processed and delivered. It's only reasonable that the states should take that into account when they set up their laws. So I, I'm, I'm gonna keep moving on because there's, there's another point I'd, I'd like to get to also. Uh, Governor Tom Wolf recently announced that Pennsylvania will cover the cost of postage for every mail-in ballot this year. Uh, the United States Postal Service Handbook uh, for area mail processing guidelines states that postmarks are not required for mailings bearing a pre-canceled stamp for postage. In other words, envelopes with prepaid postage that Pennsylvania send um, with the ballots to be returned, will they be postmarked? 
Uh, we're going to work to try and set up a process uh, to uh, uh, postmark as much as as much as we can. Is it cur currently is a process? Is it prepaid, currently prepaid postage does not get processes that prepaid postage does not get postmarked. So it, it could, if, if nothing were to change, which the, the the chairwoman's bill said you can't change anything. So if nothing were to change, you wouldn't be able to postmark those those. Uh, yeah, if we, if we didn't make a special effort to postmark prepaid uh, mail, uh, we, we would not be postmarking. Now, we have certain other, th other ways of identifying election mail, uh, which is how we have done in the past to try and postmark uh, 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 things. But they're not seamless uh, efforts. So. You would have to make some adjustments to be able to make sure that's secure. Yes, sir. I would sincerely hope that the chairwoman of this committee would have thought of that, and that would have been the value of having this hearing before she introduced the bill saying you can't make any changes. Mm -hmm. Because you're trying to do things to make sure that uh, the, the items you handle are done in time. So uh, I, I do appreciate that. The one thing, Postmaster General, can you guarantee that, uh, that you will deliver every ballot to the people when they request them and every ballot when it's returned? Uh, we, I guarantee we will use every effort of 650,000 people that work at the organization to fulfill that obligation. You, have, you won't change anything Gentleman's in this election time, that you've done previously. Gentlemen's time has expired. Thank you. Gentlemen can answer the question. Or I, I, 